We mentioned Bentley Sanders you saw there projected start at safety as a late scratch among six players out this week for USF. And a first down and then some for the Pirates. They will move the chains. They'll move into Bulls territory. Here's Jake Verity, three for three this year, has made 17 of his last 18 for the Pirates. As close to automatic as they come, right on the money. So Verity and the Pirates get the ball first and strike first. They're in Kansas at Independence Community College. Really think he's a wild card in this offense with his great speed. And this should be a free play for the Bulls unless they got back and they hit the big man. Oh, look at him rumble down inside the 10 before finally being brought down is Mitchell Brinkman. Down inside the red zone, South Florida's just been a few plays and they're already in the red zone. Warren Sabo with the touchdown saving tackle at least for a moment. One snap later, darting into the end zone, it's Johnny Ford. Wow. That was very quick and decisive for the South Florida Bulldogs. Houston just mentioned they recruited the quote heck out of him. <laughs> I can see why. And he is theirs. Ehlers quickly pulls it down. Ehlers with a big man giving chase just for his own life <laughs> was a step faster than Blake Green for he is finally dragged down. I see something on the edges coming, Lincoln. Something on the edges with Ehlers. Lincoln Rose along with Notre Dame. Stanford route. Ehlers quick release and uncovered into the end zone. Darius Penix. He has the only two sacks for this Bulls defense this year. No stranger to getting into the backfield. Third and seven. Ehlers has protection, has the receiver, and off to the races. C.J. Johnson. And the Pirates strike again. Wow, that was quick <laughs> for the USF Bulls. And now you'll see Coach Blake Harrell go ahead and maybe throw in his own blitz. Clouds utilized five different receivers so far. Pocket holds up. Now he'll go to the legs. Stays on his feet. Ball pops loose. It's the Pirates who come down with it. Oh, that ball just squirted right out. Either even furthermore into their advantage right now. So Ehlers and this offense inherit the ball in Bulls territory. Oh, a big hole on the right side, down the sideline, walking that plank all the way in. A one-play scoring drive. This time making the trek into the end zone is Raji Harris. You see, you might be bringing pressure. And well played, broken up. It would have been good for a first down, but Robert Kennedy had other ideas. The Pirates' defense has held. That road trip to Florida Atlantic was canceled due to COVID concerns on contact tracing following the loss at South Bend. Wide open space, fireworks follow out of that break, still on his feet. For the Bulls after the grab is Omarion Dollison. Brings up now a first down there inside the red zone. Let's see if South Florida can go ahead and put some points on this board and make it interesting. USF has all the pieces for a comeback. Plenty of talent. Four tiptoes down the sideline and is in for the second time. And CJ Johnson did not do on that third down. Now brings up the field goal for ECU. Already made it a 3-0 lead for the Pirates back in the opening quarter. As this one from 46 yards out, and for the first time this year, Verity unable to split the uprights. Once again, ECU showing that you know what, Lincoln, they are ready to get their first win of the season. Oh, a low snap, and the Australian just trying to make the most of it. Pirates are going to get the football at about the 11-yard line in Bulls territory. Even when blocked and then taken into the end zone, he'll trust his Bulls defense to halt the Pirates, but it's ECU capitalizing one play later. They go right back to Raji Harris. No gain on first down. Cloud drops back and fires. First down catch and then some for the trail Williams. Williams finally brought down by Nolan Johnson. Clock will briefly stop. This will be a little longer than 31 yards for Jared. And this ball 
Just sneaks inside the upright. Before the South Florida Bulls doing a great job of running that alley, getting Keith Mitchell down on the ground, forcing a loss. It now brings up about a second and 11. Mitchell stays in the backfield with Ehlers out of the pistol. Ehlers able to hit his target, Shane Calhoun, in stride. Again, another freshman paying dividends early in his college career. Even a field goal would be beneficial for ECU if they can't convert here, stretching it to a three-score lead. Harris runs around out of the backfield. Ehlers stays behind the line of scrimmage, able to shovel it to Sneed for the first down. To Araji Harris, Mac Harris staying home, doing his job. Now third and a long 12 for this ECU offense. Sneed is the deep back. Now he'll split out wide, leaving just Harris in the backfield. A fake with the left. Ehlers eyeing the end zone, and the Pirates are back on the board with a touchdown to C.J. Johnson, his second scoring snag tonight. Win of 2020, and trying to do so on the road and in conference play. As Ford with two touchdowns tonight, ball comes loose. Did not appear his knee was down. Ford will argue otherwise, but right now it is Pirates football. Jordan McLeod seems a little less optimistic. I said punt, obviously within field goal range here. Verity missed one earlier. One for two tonight. This from 42. And a new streak begins, perhaps, for Jake Verity. They line up to go for it on fourth and five. Any offsides call on ECU would give them the first down. They will, in fact, snap it. McLeod will try to pick it up with his feet, and he will not get there. More than two yards shy, Aaron Ramsour forces the turnover on downs. Let's see if Mr. Ehlers, though, can convert this on fourth and one. They do snap it. And the Pirates convert another fourth down. They're two for two today. As nothing fancy just handed off to Darius Penix, the junior. He is a guy who has been strong up the middle all game long, making a few plays. Wish he probably could have made a few more. And Verity has now made two in a row after missing one earlier tonight. 20 as their bulls are going to come up short on this homecoming inside a minute to go 38 seconds left on third and nine again this is your backup quarterback Johnson Johnson looking to get back in the end zone for the first time since his debut in the green and gold against the Citadel final score 44 24 the Pirates in the win column in the American